character of the Smith family. They, they've always been there for you, always want to take that extra step for you. Uh, probably, I guess is Sean was probably about 12 years old. Is that about right, Sean, when you started really hanging around the shop? Yeah. Or, yeah. When I first met Sean for the first time. And uh, great kid, great manners. All the Smith kids, I don't know if you, you know, if you know the whole family or not. Every single one of them have great manners and, and they're great people. Uh, Sean, second to none. A uh, few years went by, I would be in and out of the shop, and uh, Sean was there more and more often. And the next thing I knew, uh, Sean was there full time. Sean was 16 and had dropped out of high school. He's going to be a full time mechanic. Uh, I was really worried for Sean at the time because I knew he was a bright kid. He really. Uh, he, he went from just being a turning wrenches at the shop and he could pull transmissions apart and put them back together like nobody's business. Um, it's really worried about him and uh, you know having dropped out of school to chase that easy buck as a young man it, it's easy to do. Um, a couple years go by and uh, I was pleased to hear from Jack that Sean had got his GED. A little bit more time goes by and Jack tells me Sean's going to Albany State, I believe, right, Sean? Yeah, okay. Uh, and not only is Sean going to Albany State, but Sean's on the dean's list, the president's list, and everything else. I, I was really, I, I knew he had the potential. I was really glad to hear that he, he had gone that far. Uh, next thing I know, Sean's in law school. Fantastic. Uh, you know, uh, and he graduates, and he, he, he passes the bar, and he's a full-time lawyer. Uh, Really, really proud to you know hear that, um, and, and surprised at first because uh, you know I thought he was going to be turning those wrenches and, <laughs> that, but I was glad to hear that he'd gone and made really made a career for himself. Uh, I bring all this up because uh, things things you need to know about Sean. Number one, it, it shows his dedication. He's there for for everybody. <laughs> When he puts his mind to it, he's going to get that job done no matter what. Uh, the transmission shop in Albany was in a, a seedier section of town. Uh, Sean learned to, to, to deal with people of all, all levels, you know, from businessmen to people to people working on the street, every ordinary people. He knows how to talk to people. He knows how to listen to people. He knows how to understand people. Um, Sean. Uh, Basically, I, I'm just up here. I, I, I want to speak to his character. I know as a district attorney, he'd be there for everybody out there. He's going to listen to what you got to say, and he's going to do what, what's best for you and everybody else out there.